Hello and welcome to the fourth episode of Theorycraft. My name is Anders and today we're going to be looking at Dust 2, which in my opinion is one of the most entertaining maps to play and also to watch, and also probably the most famous uh, Counter-Strike map I think there is practically. Um, coming up with new stuff on this map is actually kind of tricky, and I think uh, also the same reason uh, that the meta game sometimes on this map evolves a bit slowly. Um, it's been kicked off a bit because we've got this skybox that's opened up over here. As you can tell now, you can throw uh, smokes in. But still, throwing smokes this side of the map, really tricky if you wanted to try and do that. There's a really restrictive skybox there. This one over here absolutely blocks everything. No smokes being thrown in either direction, um, which makes it a bit tough, right? Um, on this side of the map, there's been opened up a bit more so we can have some more fun. And that's, uh, that's always good, right? So the first, um, the first thing I want to talk about here is actually a theory that we've already visited on train, um, where I try to, to sort of, in basic terms, explain that, in my opinion, any smoke that could be thrown where it has the same arrival point but different departure points is automatically going to be a better smoke just because it'll be harder for the counter side to guess what's going on. That was the essence of the theory right there. Just a fancy way of saying, in this particular instance, that... If I want the smoke to go down here, then the common spot to throw it from is going to be out here, which means as soon as I throw this smoke um, at this current point in time, everyone is going to know, okay, there's at least a guy at box there who kind of know where that terrorist is. That's not giving too much information away, but it's something in a competitive level, pretty much every little thing matters. The first two smokes I want to throw, uh, show you is, are a little bit different. They're not quite for CT spawn. Um, one of them is going to land up here in the window, and the other one is going to land by the doors here. So this is an attempt to try and get some mid control and if paired up with this standard smoke it actually means you pretty much control all the middle unless someone is holding inside but that's still going to be a bit rough on them isn't it. Um, right so starting off with the first one we're going to look for this dot and we need that just to make sure that we're on the right black line here that's between the uh, the tiles. You line yourself up against that. Smoke. Don't throw the smoke just yet I'm not sure what happened there. Um, just Make sure that your crosshair is right in between the wall and the top of that window. So you're sort of looking at like the top of the wall and the window. And then you do the jump smoke there. So no issue at all. Going to be bouncing off the dome. And it will be landing right here. And it should stop before it falls off. And it will. I I can throw the smoke pretty much 10 out of 10 times at this point. But I would definitely suggest that you go and test it out for a while. Again, I am using the jump throw script just in case you guys are wondering. Otherwise... This is not a smoke that you could really do. So, um, yeah. Following that one, we want to look at this particular dot right here. Um, same one is back here, so make sure you don't choose that one, because that will be really confusing. It's the furthest one up here. I mean, I guess not that far up, so like the middle one. Same texture all along, right? Find this one very easy, and then look at the wire that's above the window, and you're going to throw, and it will be, again, onto the dome, back down here. And bouncing into the walls. So again, fairly easy to, to maintain. Also means no one really can hide in the corner. Can't see a thing if they do. If they jump up on the box, they're really easy targets. So both of the smokes, I think, are are good fun. I, I'm interested to see if people can make them work in a, in a reasonable way. There are some restrictions on this. First of all, someone could be playing aggressive middle and take you out while you're setting up. They could be playing an underpass. They could be playing close to short, which means you've got to check some of all of this. Or you need teammates here to help make sure that that doesn't happen, right? So there are a couple of limitations like that that you just got to be aware of. Now, once we're done with this, I will promise you guys that I would come up with a different way of smoking CT spawn. So to do that, uh, if we actually set up all the way over in Longhouse here. See, there's a patch of grass and then there's like a, a blemish in front of it. You line up against the center of that. doesn't have to be too precise, really. And then there's uh, a bit of a line on that wall, like a, a straight line that goes across here. Hope you guys can see that, no problem. In-game, it's certainly very easy to spot, so you guys should be able to see it. Uh, line yourself up, look at that one, and then do the jump throw. And you're going to be able to line up a smoke that goes all the way in. And what's beautiful about this, in my opinion, made me very happy, it lands pretty much right on top of the other one. It also bounces the same number of times, which means anyone who's in here, won't do, they won't be able to hear the difference. But as you can tell, if they're playing close right this, if they are you know, looking like this, they're able to see the smoke coming in, right? They can see that flying in through the, the the sky. And that's a big giveaway. Once you do that, the game is up. They will know that something else is going on, even if they can't really guess maybe what it is the first time around. Also, and equally important, um, it's true from over a long. I'll just show you guys again here. Uh, easy enough to line it up. Doesn't take a lot of long time. But up from long, 
you know, that's kind of suspicious, right? Something is definitely going on at this point. You're going to report that to your trusty captain, say something is up, um, sir. So what you might want to do if you're out here, and I would suggest anyway that you're not going to be alone, that you actually have a couple of teammates with you out here. Maybe one of them throws a, a flashbang just to, to keep whoever is out here uh, back, keep them a bit honest, make sure that they're not paying too much attention to the tricks you're trying to do here. That's uh, the best solution I've come up with. Either way, as you guys can maybe tell where this is going now, we can actually come up with a couple of different um, variations for this particular strat then, right? We could go for the for the just, you know, honest B control. We could throw this smoke normally, these two smokes, and then have three people running out middle, two people upper dark, and, you know, we're ready, we're going, right? We could also have two people or three people here. I suppose four people too, but I'm not sure that would be a good idea. Um, so I would say two or three people here, then the rest two or three over here. Once the two smokes and window go up, this smoke goes down as well into CT spawn. And then you end up running three people out long to whoever is still standing here. I'm guessing not many people would s keep more than one person here once the call comes in. That, wait a minute, there's a smoke in CT spawn. There's also a smoke outside. of two smokes outside of B, right? That generally would suggest that something is going down on that side of the map. So the aim would obviously be to cause a pretty big over-rotation towards the middle of the map and towards the B bomb site. Uh, once you do that, hopefully it will be enough that you're just uh, a lot of people here and you're going to be here faster than they expect. Because you could, theoretically, if you wanted to, you know, you could throw this smoke with, uh, with a couple of people and then, you know, make the run back too long somehow when the smoke is, is gone down and you sort of run out here anyway. Maybe you could do that, but the other one is obviously much more effective, much faster. So that's the, that's the idea of it, guys. That's the plan. Another smoke you can throw from outside CT spawn. I mentioned they had removed the actual uh, the actual skybox, and you can use that if you just find this uh, this one dot right here. Um, spend a little bit of time looking at this wall. I'm not sure how to explain to you where this dot is. I mean, it's there's a lot of dots. I guess there's like a good triangle of dots here, and it's the bottom most dot in that triangle. Just spend some time looking at the wall. Okay, it's it's uh, it's late. I can't really I can't really come up with a good explanation for it. Um, but if you do that, and not with a flashbang, that's ridiculous. Th this portrays how late we are in the evening now. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, throw this, uh, throw this over, and you're going to be able to block off, hopefully, uh, the double doors here. Which means any terrorists that are going to be coming, you know, through as the round starts, they might have a hard time getting through. They can obviously still make the jump on in, but, um, if you're here waiting on the, on the corner, not the guy throwing the smoke, but someone else, maybe you can put an end to that. At least that's the plan, that's my theory. Uh, right, so we're going to be going onto the B-bomb site for the last part of the video here with a couple of flashbangs that may or may not be useful. Can't really decide, but I've seen so many people now get trapped in this corner and I want to help those poor people out if at all I can. Obviously, how you get into this corner, you don't want to stand here at the beginning, but generally speaking, people end up trying to take fights against anyone rushing in. They fail to get the kill and they run back, maybe take, you know, a secondary fight here, they can't get the kill. And then they run back and they just going to wait in this corner and maybe they try and take a fight again, but it's really hard once you're trapped in here. So, if that happens, I want to see a couple of people uh, try and throw this particular flashbang. We sort of line it up so that it bounces out. Um, bounces against the wall as well. Very easy to throw. The, the whole point is that you can run out with your back turned to the flashbang. And it bounces far enough in here that anyone who's standing back here is still going to get flashed. I mean, even if they're out here, it's, it's a pretty wide angle that it, it covers sort of from. So, hopefully, um, it'll be somewhat useful. It's going to be airborne a long time, which means it's less effective. It's not like a pop flash, really. Because people can see this coming. But maybe it'll give you enough space to, to make a run for it and try and take a fight. And it might at any rate be better than just standing in the corner and hoping to get a, a one click on somebody. I still think it's better than, than throwing this kind of flashbang. Which is also very slow, very airborne and just is, is less open. Or if you throw like, I don't know, like into the barrels or something, still going to be pretty tricky. So that's, uh, that's just a, a bit of an idea. The other one, and this is my challenge for today last time on cash i i you know challenged you guys to come up with a with a way to make one of the smokes works this time i want to see you guys try this flashbang out for me if you can sorry i'm just gonna get something to drink and i'm not sponsored by whatever that was don't worry um so i want to see you make this flashbang work please the idea is um that you're hiding in this corner again poor you and you want to get out so you throw this flashbang right here and it's going to bounce up uh, from behind the boxes, which is fairly stupid and ridiculous, but at the same time, imagine if it worked, how funny wouldn't it be? 
Um, I mean, maybe if someone's coming in through the doors, you kind of like, you know, you just line it up. Oh, that was a bit of a failure. As you can tell, I haven't practiced it too much, but uh, if you get the angle right, you can actually still shoot them here, right? You won't be flashed because the box is in the way. Probably works from this angle too, unless they've made it passed on through the headshot or for the big box here. Then they're going to be all right. They won't really be flashed by this, I suppose. Um, so it's a bit of a ridiculous idea, really. But if you just spend a little bit of time throwing flashes here, uh, obviously with more time than me, then uh, you should be able to make this work. Wow. Now I can't do it at all, obviously. That's, you know, the camera rolling and stuff. It's going to be really tough, isn't it? So um, anyway, I've, I've, I have actually practiced a couple of times, and it shouldn't be that difficult. Um, so I, mean, I guess if you're in a lot of stress, you don't want to fail it even once. But um, yeah, test it out and show me some videos, guys, of you making it work. It'd be quite a lot of fun, in my opinion. So um, I don't, I can't decide if this would ever be useful in, in a pro match. I, I imagine not. But I guess the first time you see it uh, from, a, from you know, an incoming terrorist or CT point of view, it's going to be really frustrating. So um, show me some videos of you guys making it work. And that's about it. Don't forget to go and follow uh, my Facebook channel. That's over at facebook.com forward slash RF Anders. And also subscribe to the YouTube channel. We're trying to build it up. And um, yeah, we've already, already got a couple of followers. So thanks to everyone who's already subscribed to it. I really appreciate that. And obviously I'll be making more videos. Not sure what's coming up next time. Again, I, I kind of like just, you know, roll with it as I go along here. Uh, we might be revisiting Train at some point soon because that, that map is evolving a lot. Um, and we're definitely going to be taking more look of a look at cash as well. And there are a couple more things on Dust 2 that we can, might take a look at. Like, for one thing, you guys know you could shoot through this wall right here. I mentioned that. Alright, guys, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.